Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or hi if you are new. This week I'm going to be using a kit from the Plump Planner. It was the Daisy kit. I know this seems a little bit summery but the sun's been out all weekend and it just felt like spring is finally on its way so it just called to me. I'm using it. <laughs> the washi that I've pulled in is from Mambi. It's a skinny washi. It's kind of hard to see because it's so skinny but there are black dots yellow and pink dots so i thought that went really nicely with the kit and i've also got these mambi sticker books this one is the water goals book and inside there's obviously just random stickers but there's also some washi strips and the one at the bottom here has got pinks and yellows and the darker kind of orangey yellows and it just went really well with the kit so i decided to use those and then also I've grabbed this one which is the Life is Lovely because inside there are some foiled overlay stickers. They're kind of on clear sticker paper and I'm using some foiled stickers this week. There goes my phone. So last week I don't know what happened. I filmed, this is how it turned out last week, the spread. Um, but when I had finished editing it and doing my voiceover and then I went back to it, all of the media had disappeared. I don't know what had happened but this one hopefully is going to be fine. <laughs> also, my hands are going to be wailing about and just crazy because I actually filmed this real time. I thought I would just do a real time plan with me because I always do voiceovers and I was kind of half scared that um, if I'd done another voiceover, all of my footage was going to disappear again. But I've decided I was going to speed it up and do a voiceover. So um, yeah, my hands are doing a lot of talking and it looks kind of crazy. I've tried to cut some bits out so if it kind of jumps a bit and it's not as kind of smooth as it normally is, that's why, because I didn't realize how much I talk with my hands. <laughs> so um, I'm starting at the bottom and I'm using the thin Mambi Washi, like I showed you before, and then the colored Washi, which was from the Watercolor Goals Mambi book. I've got so many Mambi books, I really need to start using them more because they're all just sitting there. I always forget about them, so I'll probably use them over the next couple of weeks. So I'm just going to go in and start day by day. So I'm starting on Monday and I've just put a pop it down and then I remembered about my date dots. These are by Handcrafted by Cherie. They're just the foiled light pink uh, date dots. And I was really happy that I could, oh I forgot this number four, it just, it really did not not want to go down. It, no, not having it. <laughs> um, yeah, I was so happy that I could use these because every time I remember about them and I grab them out, then the dates that I need, they disappeared from the sheet. So super pleased that I could use them. And then here I was just deciding which pen to use, but I did go with the Pentel Enel Ener Gel, so hard to say quickly, um, in black, as it writes so smooth and it doesn't bleed through the page and it dries pretty quick. So I just started with a little poppet from the feeling sheet and just wrote hello Monday and then I'm going back into working out this week and the little foiled workout symbol was from the giving girl and then underneath there on a half box I just put an Etsy poppet as I have got some Etsy messages to answer or I already have done that this morning and then I wanted to get on and get on with some work so the printer, the foil printer sticker is from Legally Planning and then the silhouette cutter is from Planning Roses and then that's just a poppet from the Happy Mail sheet I think it is um, for me to, it was supposed to be for me to pack orders and I wrote post by accident but I know what it means. I feel like I'm a bit flustered. I've just posted on Instagram that I am looking for a PR team or the Poppet Squad. Um, I know it's made me nervous. I feel hot and I'm all jumbled. <laughs> um, down at the bottom there, I just put one of my full boxes and then a poppet with the YouTube symbol for me to upload this plan with me. And then moving on to Tuesday, I'm going to put another full box up at the top. I was just deciding which full box to go for. And then underneath there, again, I need to work out. So I've just used, these are one of the washi strips from the kit. And then again, another foiled symbol from the giving girl. And then I'm just going to put some half boxes down, but I did change my mind because I've got these other half boxes. Where were they from? Paper Shire. And they are so cute. So I decided to put one of those down as I felt the pinks really matched the kit. And I used a laptop poppet as that half box was for me to design. And then I've put one of the post and deliver poppets down for me to go and post orders. Oh, I just switched these around. I can't remember why. I don't know. Um, and then at the bottom, 
when I get there I need to do some housework and some laundry so I just used some puppets from the home life sheet and the laundry one or the hanging washing line is just a sheet on its own I think it was just called laundry puppets um, and then here I'm just switching over where I've put design and emails because I messed that up um, yeah and that's it I'm just going to post orders and do some housework oh I will leave the link down below if you want to apply to be part of the puppet squad the PR team I'll leave the link down below it's just a little google form that you have to fill in nothing complicated um yeah you just fill that in and it's going to be closing on the I can't remember what I said 13th of March I think it is let me check right hang on yes 13th of March <laughs> okay so now we're on Wednesday um, again I started with workout at the top there's some shopping that I need to get done so I've used one of the foiled to-do boxes which I believe were from Philo Fabulous but I can't remember because it's been cut for me to be able to store them I really should write the shop names on the back of the sticker paper so that way when I do cut them I won't forget where they're from um, I just used some of the tiny poppets the couple on top of that and then underneath there I want to clean the windows so I've just used another poppet from the home life sheet and um, do some more laundry because I've done laundry on the Tuesday so I'll have some more to either put away into everyone's bedrooms or you know everybody knows how that works and then on a half box I put a TV poppet as we will be having Netflix and lunch and then finally I need to water my plants um, they're slightly dying I don't know what to do I've done so well and now it's all it's all going downhill and then moving over to Thursday so Thursday I've actually got a planner arriving so I haven't really been enjoying my Erin Condren as much as I had before so I have been looking out for a new planner for absolutely ages I finally decided that I'm going to try rings because I've done disc planners or I've done happy planner that I done for maybe three years maybe four and then I switched over to this Erin Condren one and now I'm going to try rings and I think I went for the size A6 which I'm slightly worried it's going to be too small for me but we'll see we'll see when it comes and yeah figure it out um, I also put down that I want to work out so I'm trying to work out Monday to Friday this week and then I'm going to do a mass cut session for my shop um, so after I have been cutting all day I was going to treat myself to a nice coffee the coffee icon is from my shop and then I'll be putting down another half box from Paper Shire and a restock text which was from my shop. I think these were just ones that I'd done for myself, I can't really remember. And then it is um, bin day so I have to put the bins out ready for Friday morning so I put them out Thursday night because I will forget Friday morning and have to run out in my pyjamas and that's not cute, it's not like in the films at all. So I put them out Thursday night and for me it is black bins. And then for Friday I'm putting down that I'm going to work out, oh I didn't grab enough of the little foiled workout stickers that I'd been using so I still haven't put that in actually just looking at my planner I need to go and do that. Um, I'll also need to finish this week's new release on Friday. So last week's new release, just in case you missed it, was some DIY poppets, which I created because I've got some DIY projects coming up in the house, so definitely needed those. And then I just put my full box down. I need to do a food shop on Friday as well, so I just used a poppet from the food sheet. And then as it's the last Friday before my children go back to school and college, I said that we would have a big movie night. So I've just used one of the TV puppets again and wrote down movie night. And we'll also have something like hot dogs while we're watching the movie. And then on my barbecue puppet sheets, there's this little puppet that looks like a hot dog. I'd forgotten how cute he was until I found him. So I used that down at the bottom. And then for Saturday, I just used a half box that I flipped up onto its side and just wrote last minute shopping because if there's anything that I need to get for my children for school on Monday, this is literally the last day that I can do it. So um, that's why I've used the shocked poppet face because I know there will be something I have forgotten and that's when I'll have to do it. Underneath there I've used one of the lunch poppets because I will need to find their lunch boxes. I know I'm leaving everything until the last minute, like until the weekend, but I'm probably going to get some of this done throughout the week. This is just to remind me if I haven't managed to do it and I look at it, I'll remember. 
so um, I also put one of the pop-it bags down as we need to sort through the bags and goodness knows what is in there I kind of don't want to do it I'm gonna make them do it <laughs> and then I'll have some housework and then for Sunday I've put down the foiled sticker is from the giving girl it's just like a money bag symbol um, for me to buy their bus tickets to go to college and school and then the other one has got like a little dinner so I've used that one to mark for me to top up their lunch cards and then lastly I've put a mobile phone pop it down because I will have to top up everyone's mobiles because they go to school and college in the city so if they need to get hold of me or you know if they need anything they need to have credit on their phone and then I'm not panicking as much so that yeah um the planner foiled planner sticker there is from the ginger cat co and that's just to mark down that I need to update my bullet journal I've put the little poppets sitting on the suitcase which is way too fat because I'm pretty sure that's how their school bags are going to look once I've got everything in them and I also put one of the sleepy poppets down for an early night and then for my sidebar I put the full box right at the top I've put a half box with one of my work from home puppets so that way I can mark where my partner is going to be in the office and when he's at home because it kind of changes it depends what he's got to do I've put my habit tracker down because I've been finding them really useful in my sidebar I can track up to four habits just in one section and then to fill up the gap I use some more of the washi and some of the deco stickers and then I decided to use the weekend sticker. I haven't used a weekend banner for absolutely ages. So I decided just to stick that one down there and use the last of the little daisy stickers. And then you can't just leave two deco stickers because that's illegal in the planning world. So I've just put that up at the top. Now I'm going back to the Life is Lovely um, Man B sticker book. And I'm just grabbing these foiled leaf stickers and putting them over the full boxes they're really nice actually you can't really tell that i've got them on there and then the light catches them it just looks good i'd forgotten how much that i love foiled stickers anything shiny i'm there i'll show you my money i'll take it may have gone slightly overload i do have the um too much gene when it comes to things like this i'm still going i don't even know what to talk about because i'm taking so long <laughs> i think i'm just going to stick them on here and i'm done hopefully yes okay perfect <laughs> so that was it for this week's plan with me i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did then let me know down below also if you use an a6 planner let me know where you get your inserts from oh here's a little wiggle of my shiny pages so happy anyway i'm off now so i'll speak to you all next time bye guys